the speed of light. Does anyone know about the speed of light? The speed of light travels at 186 or 187,000 miles per second. So if I ping that acorn out there and it traveled for one year at the speed of light, it would be hundreds of millions of, ye of, of, of um, years out, right? Or miles, not years, miles. And all of a sudden it slams into something and it stops. And here's the promise that I do know is that if it lands on something and the environment is right, meaning the temperature is right, the soil has minerals and those things, it has water and it has sunlight, what will that acorn do? It will grow into the beautiful oak that it was destined to become. And that's a 500 year ecosystem driven one tree that sheds tens of thousands of acorns every single year. So my belief is from one acorn, from you, you being that one acorn, thousands of forests are going to be created around the world. How does it do it? When you become the mighty oak tree that you're destined to become, you will shed tens of thousands of acorns that will also take root. And that is your organization. And it'll go from Arizona to Washington, to Florida, to Europe, back to the US, down to Mexico, into Southeast Asia, if you continually do those six steps. That is what you have deep inside of you. No longer do we get to live in a finite world. Stop putting boundaries on your life. I don't care if it's taken you 10 years to get to Pro One. There's, a, there's something going on in your programming to where your feeling is this, your belief is this, your activity is that, and that's the result. So what do you get to do? Work on the programming, self-develop. So we know that skill set's a big, big part of what our journey is going to be in Life Vantage. I love what Abraham Lincoln said, right? If he had five minutes to cut down a tree, what did he say? I'm going to spend four minutes sharpening the ax, and then I'm going to do one minute of the actual hard work. Same thing in network marketing. Let's work on the skill set. But at the same time, if we forget about the self-development piece of this, you guys will slam into walls that will get you frustrated. It will make you angry. And here's another pearl that I promise you, you cannot do. Please do not compare your story to mine. You can't. Guys, I've 19 years. I've traveled this world to 40, 40 different company or countries. I've worked with some amazing people. I've networked with some amazing people. So if you're brand new to this industry and you compare yourself to me with all of those relationships over 19 years, like I told you, what happened with Justin and I, we crossed at another pendulum of life to where we were now mirrored to where I was able to do something with Justin and say yes. So those relationships, my network is massive. It's vast. It's in the international, in international markets. So if you're brand new, you cannot compare yourself. If you're a pro five and been stuck, you cannot compare yourself. You get to live your unique journey within Life Vantage, just like your unique fingerprint on your finger today. It's yours. This is your unique journey. Make it special, create something beautiful. We are the creators. We get to pick the pen up and write the story. And so that's what I love, Marissa, about this industry, that if we can focus on those six steps, I promise you, when you self-develop, your feeling will increase. Look at it like I want to, like if I was looking at the gym, okay? How many people don't like going to the gym? Just raise your hand. I'm one of them. I don't like going and working out. Okay, what's the reason? My programming is off, way off to where I need to change my feeling. My belief level rises. All of a sudden, I do the activity in the gym for 90 days. I eat better. All of a sudden, the result is what? Oh my gosh, right before I lost 40 pounds, he feels great. And then all of a sudden, I live a totally different lifestyle. So why is that any different in your network marketing business? Guys, we get to run the numbers. We get to be consistent. We get to choose but so many amazing things. I'm going to share something with you really quick that I think is amazing that I hope every single distributor in Life Vantage gets to. Have you chosen to make a living or a life with Life Vantage? Those are two different, big differences in those things. And I'll repeat it. Have you chosen to make a living or a life with Life Vantage? If you've chosen to make a living, that's a totally different mindset. All of a sudden, the programming's different. The belief level, the feeling, the activity. 
when it's just a life, meaning I just need to get my, my bills paid. I just need to make rank because of my ego that's driving it. I just need to get my car payment or whatever that is. That's a different mindset. But if you look at yourself 50 years from now with this company, you will know, you know for a doubt, with a shadow of a doubt that you'll be in a totally different space. You'll be a better human. You'll be, you'll be more healthy. You'll have a network around the world because you're that mighty oak tree that's shedding thousands of, of acorns all over the world. And you get to be a servant-minded leader and breed life. And you all of a sudden transition from servant to a legacy-driven leader. Now, I want to leave a legacy. I mean, I never thought I could write a book. I'm a published author. Breakthrough Success with Rye Fry, one of my mentors in network marketing, if you've never heard of him, Matt Morris. Matt Morris is one of the most successful network marketers on the planet, and I get to co-write an author with him. Okay, I never in a million years, high school dropout, when I published this book, people laugh, they scoff. I mean, it was, it's really, even my own family said, whoa, I didn't realize it was that bad because I wrote a chapter about where I was. Do you guys realize that four and a half years ago, I was crabbing illegally off the Edmonds Pier in Seattle, Washington, to put, and I was crabbing illegally to pulling 12 Dungeness crab or raw crab out when you, the limit was two to feed my two little ones that are now 10 and nine. That was four and a half years ago. Life can change in an instant by you saying yes, getting really focused on your self-development, working on your feeling, changing your belief level. I don't have to talk to you about your activity. The activity will show you every single day the results of what you're getting. And if you're not satisfied with the results, then go back to steps one through four. And when you start to, like you guys might be off here, and then all of a sudden, each week, you're fine-tuning, 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 and all of a sudden, that aligns. Oh, my goodness. That's when duplication is just raining in your it's, – it's, it's just showering down in your organization. And so, guys, I love this industry. I love this company. I am here to assist anyone that has their hands raised with regards to sharpening their skill sets – and all of the things about network marketing and so forth. So Marisa, I will turn it back over to you, my friend. Oh my gosh. Everybody's like, don't go, don't go. What okay. is step six? Is it success? Is lifestyle. That so your results will lead you to a lifestyle. So if your lifestyle isn't meshing, it's not mirrored, meaning guys, like money is not the, the, the key, right? We get that. We're, we've been in this business. We've been in this industry. We've been in life long enough that what? Money is not everything. But money is very important. Why? Because money equals freedom and freedom equals happiness. Let me yeah. say that again. Money equals freedom. Freedom equals happiness. That's why money is important. So I get to do what I want, when I want, where I want, with who I want. And I don't behold to one single person in my life other than myself and my fiance and my children. I have and a question I have a question for you because I know there's a lot of new people here and, and um, the, what is your, I know each invite is different, but can you share a couple of invites because we have to master the invite and, <laughs> and also someone who's been in network marketing for 19 years, how did you lose everything? And four and a half years ago, you were at the bottom. Yeah. Great questions. Those are great questions. The way I lost everything is my ego is running my life pride and ego, making horrible decisions, whether that was personally or whether that was in my business. And guys, no matter what, when you become a blessing and stop being a blessing, that will be taken from you. And that's what happened with my life. I was going through a divorce. I went through a bankruptcy. I lost everything. And then I had a choice to do what? Either you play victim. I call it the plum party, poor little unhappy me. And I can stay in that story the rest of my life what a victim I was, how my ex-wife did this and how the system doesn't work for fathers and I lost my kids and then I had to go find them and attorney's fees and the said blah, 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 right? I could stay in that or I could say this, I'm 100% accountable for where I am in my life today based on the decisions that I've made. Me, 100%. And the second I did that, Marisa, my life changed. That's what happened on that pier. My grandfather's literally had a quote that he told me before he passed away at 99 years old. And what you don't know, my grandfather started an MLM company one year before Amway. 
called Neil Life. It still ranks 64 in the top 100. He left a legacy that has paid billions of dollars to families and anyone. And so all of a sudden I'm on the pier and before he passed away he said, Ryan, from one acorn, a thousand forests are born. And all of a sudden it popped in my brain. I'm that acorn. I have the ability to go out and change the world and literally have armies of people around the world that we're becoming better humans together. We're self-developing and we're changing the world with products and a company and allowing people financial freedom, health freedom, and freedom of time. And all of a sudden in four years, here I am realizing and remembering who I was deep down inside, but I had to do what? A lot of clean up on my programming and then all of a sudden the other steps change. Now, one of the greatest gifts that my mentor, my first men mentor gave me, his name was Nathan Ricks. He's one of the top network marketers in the world. And he taught me a, a simple four-step, um, uh, a, a simple four-step invite called the four C's of inviting. And I want you to write this down. And I could do, Marisa, I could do another training if you feel like and go deep into the Oh my gosh. Of it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so what, what's really cool, yeah, what's really cool is, is and I learned this formula and I, I use it today, not just my business. I use it in my, with my fiance, when I invite someone to the movie or dinner or something, it's a great invite. So here's the four C's. I'll give it to you. You guys can chomp on it. We can talk about it, you know, later in another call. Okay. Cause I know we got time. So the four C's are this, the first C is you got to get really good at complimenting someone. Now that compliment needs to be genuine, it needs to be real, and it needs to be authentic, right? Hey, Jolene, it's Rye Fry. We've been friends for a long, long time. You know what I love about you, Jolene? You got a beautiful smile, but more importantly, you're very business savvy. And I'm looking for people that have a business mindset to, boom, lead me to the next C, right? So that was a genuine compliment, right? I'm not saying, hey, Jolene, you hover when you walk into a room and everyone just, you know, all of a sudden almost wants to pass out because of this and that. And it's just this really fictitious, you know, type thing. And I'm sure that actually happens with Jolene. People are like, whoa, you know, she's an amazing person. But you know what I'm saying, right? It can't be this just out of this world thing when you haven't talked to them for eight years, you know? Hey, Marissa, it's been eight years, but this, 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 and this. And we're like, and she's like, wait, what is going on with Rifra? This is crazy, right? It's just a genuine, I remember eight years ago, how powerful you were with regards to starting your own business. And I'm looking for great people like that. And I'd love to pick your brain on a few things. Okay, that's a genuine compliment, right? Now, the second C is create curiosity. Guys, we have to learn to create curiosity. What killed the cat? Curiosity. Makes people decide or make a decision in their lives. When their curiosity is peaked, they will be absolutely interested no matter what you do or say. There's a quote in this industry that says, you can never say the right thing to the wrong person and you can never say the wrong thing to the right person. It won't matter, but the curiosity to be peaked. Now, are there many, many things in, in life vantage curious that would allow one to be like, oh my goodness, Melissa, what do you mean that they've got a patent on a product that reduces oxidative stress up to 40%? What do you mean by that? I mean, that would be a curious thing, right? For a publicly traded company, we do $225 million a year in growing. We're growing internationally. We have patents on our product that changes the inflammation of the body. Do you have inflammation in your body, Jane? Yeah, I do. My neck's always sore every time I wake up. Great. That curiosity is endless, guys, with what we have our, our hands on. And so what happens when you peak the curiosity, what automatically happens with that person? If I talk to Doug, hey, Doug, it's Rye Fry. I love your hat. I love how you're anxiously engaged in Tony Robbins and things that are making you a better person. I'd like to align with people like that. And the reason I'm calling is because I found something that I'm really fascinated with and excited with. It's a company that's been around 11 years, Doug. They're looking for distributors like you and I that allow us to have another stream of income. Are you ever looking for something outside of what you currently do? And his head goes, yeah, I do all the time. Great. Leads me to my third C, compliment. 
or excuse me, com, um, control yourself. Because when Doug's curiosity is peaked, what's, what is automatically Doug going to say to me? Hey, Rye Fry, what are you talking about? Distributors, how do you get paid? What is this, right? He's going to have questions. When you start to get questions, you've done step one and two correctly. The curiosity is high. Instantly, your prospect is going to ask you questions. Now, here's the third C. Like I said, control yourself, control yourself, control yourself. Now, what do I mean by that? Okay, if Doug asked me, oh my gosh, Nerf 2, I've read about that. And this product does this and the science is this. Well, what, how much lipoic acid is in that product? How many milligrams is in that product? And if I'm a brand new distributor, I don't know. And what happens on the phone or in front of people? I freeze. And then all of a sudden, what's really happening that people don't realize is that Doug is asking me enough questions for him not to say yes, but to say no. They're asking you questions to be able to say, ah, oh, you know what, Gina, that doesn't sound like something I want to be a part of. And boom, they make a snap decision on their life that can completely change not only their world, but those that they ripple out to over the next decades. Think about how important this is. So when Doug says, hey, Rye Fry, why is there this much lipoic acid in there? And I control myself. Hey, Doug, I had a similar question. But on this day, which is tomorrow, Wednesday, Brian Dixon, he's the chief um, um, scientist of our company. He's going to be asking that question. Will you join me on that webinar so that we can get that answer question or that question answered for you? So what did I just do? I didn't answer the question. What does that keep number two uh, or step number two? It increases the curiosity, right? I'm not avoiding the question. I'm not answering it. I'm directing him to the fourth C, which is what? Commit him to something. Commit him to a phone call, a webinar, a live meeting, a coffee shop conversation, a big event, global convention, virtual event, EA, fly-ins. I don't care what it is. You should always be pushing your people to what? The event. Now, what happens at the event? Doug now gets his question answered, but he also sees the confirmation from all the social confirmation of other people. When there's 35 people on a webinar that had the same question and Brian Dixon walks him through exactly why there's this much milligrams of lipoic acid or whatever it is, all of a sudden who looks like a rock star? You do. So you don't have to be the know-all. We don't have to learn and become a scientist to be successful. But if you don't know how to invite, and I love that Marissa asked me this question. Guys, let me ask you this, and you can put it in the chat. What's the single most important thing in network marketing? What is it? The single most important thing in network marketing for you to be successful. Go ahead, Gina. Promotion. Promotion. Okay. Promoting Promotion. event to event. Okay. Promoting to an event. Close, mm -hmm. but not 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 no. not even close. I was gonna say follow up. Okay, follow up. Okay, great. These are great. Okay, guys, keep it coming. Just real quick. I'll take two more. Inviting connection. Okay, inviting connection. Okay, Marissa just hit the nail on the thing. Number one, King Kong Mufasa of network marketing is you better learn how to invite because how do I promote? or the art of promotion before I what? Invite, right? Anything that you say to me, overcoming objections. How do I get to an objection if I haven't invited them to what? How do I get them to the, the phone call? I've got to invite them. How do they know about Life Vantage? I've got to invite them. How do I present to them? I have to invite them. Everything goes back to art of inviting. So the four C's, compliment, create curiosity, control yourself and commit them to something, some event with a ticking time bomb that allows you to what? Someone said it earlier, follow up and follow through. So everything stems, everything laces together, guys. When we have this off and all of a sudden I wanna to present to someone, but I haven't called them and invited them or know how to invite, I'm gonna trip and stumble with regards to that particular thing, right? Now, here's what I did do in the shower, driving down the street, no matter where I was, I role-played in my brain, 
the art of inviting. I would think of a friend, Brent Rose, how long we've been friends. We went to high school together. Did we, what did we do together? Did we play sports together? All of those things I get in my brain and I say, hey, Brent, it's Rye Fry. It's been three years. I know you have a new son, Keikoa. He's turning into an amazing boy. Tell me about him. All of a sudden, Brent tells me about him. That's amazing, Brent. You know what I've loved about you? I know you're a single father, but you've never shrunk as a single father and you've been dedicated to your responsibility. That's what I'm looking for in a partner. And I found a company that I'm excited about for this, 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 this reason. And if that curiosity is there, then all of a sudden he's going to ask me questions and we say, Brent, those are great questions. Will you join me tomorrow morning for coffee at 8 a.m.? I need 30 minutes of your time because 90% of this is visual. It's like me trying to tell you what this is would be similar to me trying to give you a haircut over the phone. I can't do it. I've got to be in front of you. So there we go. And I commit him to what? The eight o'clock you know, time slot. Now, here's another big question that I want to ask you guys. What do we sell at LifeVantage? What do you sell at LifeVantage? Okay, Dirk's going, me, baby, me. Yes. But before that happens, and you can do that, there's something that actually has to happen that you have to sell before. And it comes from the art of inviting. Guys, let me tell you, this, is, this will change your life. We sell 30-minute blocks of time. That's what you sell. If you can get someone for 30 minutes on a webinar, in a meeting, in a coffee shop, at their house, no matter what it is, you now have increased your chances of what? Being successful with network marketing and life manage. And the reason I say that is because in 30 minutes, what do I get to present? Company, products, timing, leverage, and comp. It's called top down, the opportunity of a lifetime. Now, what are the, what's the only thing that people buy? Benefits. How does it benefit me? Now, for me as a messenger, I don't have to worry. I don't have to sell the benefit. I just get to share what this big picture of life vantage is time freedom, financial freedom, freedom of time, freedom of health. Now, if I just lay that out and I'm a person that just lost my job, do you have to tell me that I'm interested with regards to coming and starting a new business to become financially free? If I see the benefit in the presentation, what am I going to buy? Always. If I know it benefits me, I'm going to buy it. I don't go down to buy a new truck or a new Porsche or a new something from the dealer because I want some 18-year-old salesman to tell me what the leather's made out of. I already know more than likely the benefits that I need when I go down to make that decision. Now, if he just says, hey, drive the car, what questions do you have? You know, and he presents what that Porsche is and I see the benefits of why it fits in my life. There's nothing he can't say. I'm going to buy the car. And so guys, this is a beautiful thing. Now, this is what I've learned over 20 years. And I'll tell you this, followship precedes leadership. And when you say as a leader, I know that. It's the death of your business and it's really the death of your life. We have to stay in followship mode. Me as a master pro 10, I will continually be a student of this industry and of the other masters and of the other executives. There's three of them, Kerry, Dickey, Mark Shinsato, and Blue Elam, okay? And I want to shatter that. I want to be there in the next year. I want to grow my distributorship in the next year to walk across the global next year as what? An executive master pro 10. And then I will continue to push the boundaries to what? to a boundary that for some reason we have on ourselves in this company that no one has yet to achieve. And that is a pro 12 position or a presidential master pro 10, right? No one's achieved it. So everyone's mindset is what? It can't be done. Hasn't been done for 11 years. It can't be done. And I'm saying BS and I'm saying BS on all of it. Get right here in your brain on the programming the feeling, the belief, the activity, the results, and the lifestyle. And your life will change right before your eyes. So I love you guys. I Ugh. can say that very confidently because why? You've said yes to your life. For anyone that says yes to our industry, this industry will challenge you to be the best version of yourself outside of any industry that I've ever looked at. Anything. And that's what I love about it. It goes way beyond rank, the money, any of that, and the freedom 
It's that when I get to a master pro 10, I'm really freaking proud of the person that I see in the mirror. And I haven't been able to say that all the time in my life. And so we've come a long way and, and I'm here to support you in your journey. I'm here to assist you, not do the work for you, assist you. And that's a beautiful thing. So Marissa, I'll turn it back over to you and thank you guys for letting me just chatter all day today. Oh my Rye gosh. Fry. Rye Fry, this, let's give him some hearts, you guys. This was absolutely incredible. This is prelude to global. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Amazing, are you, are thank you. Are you, are you Love you. global? Oh uh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Oh, good. We'll see you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so when we see you, I'm going to hug you or, or, or you can put your <laughs> no hands <problem>. up. <laughs> All right. Love you. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank hey guys. you. For whatever reason, it didn't fly on my Facebook today. I don't know. It stopped. It just stopped. It could be because I'm up here at the cabin, but I do have half of it recorded to the cloud. So I'll get that. The four C's, which was amazing. Three trainings that RyFry has done are on the app and it includes the four C's so, um, and the art of inviting. So I'm telling you, this was a master training. Thank you from the bottoms of our heart and congratulations. <laughs> Thank you guys. Huge. Congratulations. Right, we'll you Thank you so right. much. Cheers, everyone. Bye everybody. Love you all. Marisa, Marisa, before yes. you go, just another huge shout out to um, Patricia. She talked again on Deb Erickson. Um, Patricia, you, there, there's something changing. You are different than when I first met you. You are glowing. You are confident. Um, I just want to just huge, huge shout out. You did a beautiful job oh, again. I am Thank so, you. I think I listened to part of that. I had to get off, but, um, that was, you were, you were amazing. And that was a great call today that Deb Erickson, uh, the it little was. voice that said, you're better mom, you're better, you're better than best. Yeah, and it was beautiful. It, the whole call was beautiful. I'm going to go back and listen to that replay. So thank you, everybody. Love you all. It's excited for global. Bye. Woo! <laughs>